Okay, you guys, I'm bad. Look, um, <laughs> I was trying to work this one hand, trying to get my toboggan back on, but I couldn't do it, y'all. I had to turn my camera off. I hope it was off. <laughs> the toboggan just came right off. I'm like, what the word? I kept trying to slide it on. Anyway, you guys, y'all know I had to cut up a little bit. But, um, yeah, um, you got to get with Father. And, um, let him throw some ideas at you because ideas come from God anyway. You understand what I'm saying? So anyway, I hope that uh, something that I've said has helped somebody out there. It's beautiful out here. Even though there's dead veg vegetation out here, this planet is still a very beautiful planet. But it, it would have been more beautiful if there was no death. And uh, let me share this with you guys uh, for those of you that you know, your little children are in the hospital sick and a lot of them dying. And I know it, 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 it seems unfair and unjust. And, and it is, you know, because, you know, Adam is the reason why we have to go through this mess. But let me tell you something. When Jesus was on earth, he said, suffer the little children. My God, they're coming to me. Oh, my gosh. Let me tell you all something I saw on the Internet the other day. And a lot of people may look at it as something negative, but I look at it as something positive. Somebody had posted a TikTok, I think it's called a TikTok or something like that, on uh, YouTube. And there was a lady who was a believer, and she was in the process of transition, transi transitioning, dying. And it was like her eyes were fixated somewhere, but not here. And I don't know how to explain it. Um, you all may know when people have that far away look. Like they're looking at something in another realm or something. And um, the lady was talking to her daughter. And she was saying something about um, they're opening the gate. That's what she was saying, that they're opening the gate. And what she was talking about is heaven. She was saying they're opening the gate. And I, I just studied her face and I studied her eyes. And I began to think about what she was, what she was actually seeing. And um, her daughter, of course, I'm, her daughter was there, I believe, crying and sad because her mother was leaving this existence and going home with Jesus. But that lady's testimony right there, she may not even have seen it as a testimony, but on her deathbed, this is somebody that's a believer, a sister in the Lord, that's that's transitioning she's in the process of leaving this existence to go to um heaven and she said something like they're opening the gate y'all let me tell y'all something that lady saw that you may say well how do you know I, listen that i you know if she didn't and i'm wrong lord forgive me but i 100 percent wholeheartedly believe that lady saw what she was seeing because as you transition from this existence here to the kingdom of God the things in the 3d I believe begin to fade and you begin to see the things in the spiritual realm made manifest oh my god I did a conference before about people that have died in the Lord and when they get to the other side they might be like oh you know what is this this what it was they might say, is this what it was? I'm, the, I'm just throwing that out there, you guys. I'm not saying that. Because they see what it is now. You understand? They're on the other side. They are not dead. Oh, my gosh. That's what I'm trying to put out there. For somebody that's depressed today, I don't know who this word is for, but they're not dead. I know you saw them. You saw a lifeless body. You may have gone to the funeral. You may have seen them lowered into the ground, but I'm telling you. That the resurrection is Jesus Christ. He says, I am the resurrection. My, Go look up the word resurrection, y'all. See what it means now. Raised from the dead. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus is the life that opposes a physical death on this planet. You're going to live forever. You're going to grieve people because of that person whoever it may be you know I'm not speaking that on nobody I'm just putting that out there today for somebody that needs an encouraging word because um 
dust they were and unto dust they returned. But that's the body. That's not the person. That's not their personality. That's not their laughter. That's not their joking and, and, and their thought. And it's not them. It's not their being. Who you are is a spirit. That lady, even though her body was in the process of death, her spirit, who she really is, was in the process of entering heaven. And heaven knew she was coming. She said, they're opening the gate. And then she smiled on her deathbed. My God, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a Jesus that can make you smile on your deathbed. Because you're beginning to see everything for what it really is. You're beginning to see heaven. Heaven is beginning to be made manifest. And I want to say the lady was saying something about beautiful or something. She was talking about how beautiful heaven is. Let me tell you guys something for those of you that are losing hope in this world today. There is a God. There is a heaven. There is a kingdom of God. That place is absolutely beautiful. It's indescribable. The only description that we have of it is located in the book of Revelation in the Holy Bible. Let me tell you something. For those of you that are suffering injustices in this world, you need to take your eyes off of this planet and place it on the kingdom of God. Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. Oh, my God. Jesus came down here and he did what he had to do. And then he went back and sat on the right hand of God. And he is resting and ruling and, ab and abiding in and over our lives. And he is in control, full control of everything as it pertains to our lives. The only thing he's saying to us today, I feel, not the only thing, but one thing I feel he's trying to emphasize to us today is that if you had faith in me as the size of a grain of a mustard seed, oh my gosh. So that means it only takes a little bit of faith for God to do a whole lot of work in your life. Oh my gosh, whatever it is, whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you need, Ask God in faith and he will give it to you. Oh my gosh, I'm a living witness. God bless you all until next time. Bye-bye.